Even if you don't actually like professional wrestling, I know deep down you love a Raw Rumble or a Battle Royal, whatever you want to call it. If WWE watching this, they're probably going to try and copyright my ass because the Raw Rumble actually does uh, belong to them. But I tell you, being in one is damn hard. Because, you know, if you're in a one-on-one -on -one match, obviously you have to worry about one other person. But when you're in a 30-man Battle Royal, Raw Rumble, you're going to worry about 29 other people. And you never know exactly what 29 other people are going to do. There I am, coming out of my Rumble. Look how greasy I am. Love getting greased up, what a moron. Uh, obviously, so when we were when we were kind of discussing what we should do, I was like, maybe I could just get in the ring and, and spine buster and spear everyone. So there's my spine buster. And I didn't think anybody would actually agree to this. But everyone was like, yeah, man, I'll take a spear from you. So I just ran around and speared anyone. Like, I couldn't be more Goldberg if I tried. But I'm going to tell you this, it gets a reaction. And I love working for EWE because they're just, uh, they're just the, the crowd's great and every, everybody's awesome. Everybody's awesome. But yeah, like... Even if you do, my point being is it gives me real respect for WWE and all the all the wrestlers there because, you know, those the things they do are so intricate and so put together and there's a story to be told and I don't think they're massively fussed about the order all the time, but this year they definitely were in 2020 because there was a whole story about Brock Lesnar. So when you are in one of these, that was hilarious too, right? I don't want to break, you know, go too far behind the scenes, but some things make me laugh. I forgot it was a pin and submission Raw Rumble, <laughs> so I tried to throw him out the ring. Also, I don't know why I caught him like that, but I gave him the fall away slam. Probably could have chucked him a bit more. Uh, I'm, to be completely honest with you, I was a little bit sick this day. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I had uh, the flu or anything like that, but I felt weak all the day. I'd gone to the gym earlier and I felt terrible. Just one of those days, I probably hadn't slept properly. And I come face to face with Arcadius here, who wasn't happy that I had fall away slammed that guy. Because look, apparently he wanted to fall away slam me. And I'll let you in on another little secret, because you never know. My landing there landed what I could consider to be fine, but you'll see me in a minute. Check it. My right shoulder just really started to hurt. And I think I'd tweak my deltoid, because ever since then, I've been making sure to ice it and rest it. And it's more or less fine but you have this awful moment well i do because of what happened with my shoulder injury before i was like oh no please tell me i haven't i haven't done anything bad but i was okay a lot of raw rumbles is stuff like this laying in the corner and i'll let you in on that little duty there as well that guy just kicked me right in the face <laughs> it really really hurt like genuinely uh, and it, uh, the cool thing about rumbles when you do work for the same companies this is uh, my man jordan saeed if you watch one of my old videos, you know, he screwed me in our last match when he rolled up and rolled up and rolled me up, you know, most devastating move in all the sports entertainment and held my tights. But here he told me he wanted to work with me. And because I am a moron, I am the WWE typical baby face that is way too trusting and is actually stupid. I thought, OK, great. I can work with Jordan and eventually win this battle royal. The winner, of course, gets a number one contendership at the, at the title. So we go to work on that fall in the corner. He never saw it coming. But don't worry, I'm going to get my comeuppance later which is dumb. This is the thing that the, 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 uh, the, the video is named about as well. No idea what I was doing. I do know what I was doing there. I've got, as you know, if you watched my videos before, I'm trying to make my uh, finisher a bit more snappy. But because so many people in the ring, I kind of didn't have the room to fall down properly. So I've come up with another new version of my finisher by accident. And there you go. Jordan screwed me over. He absolutely screwed me over. He rolled me up, held my tights again. I need to learn. I need to not, you know, I need to stop being a moron, a jabroni, an idiot, a fool. But don't worry, because in the Royal Rumble, there are no rules. And you can eliminate people even once you've been eliminated, as you know. So I saw him there. I thought, i give him a spin. <laughs> and then he gets pinned in a minute and gets taken out. But that was my Royal Rumble experience. Again, going back to that finishing move, because I know I've named the video after that. You do have to be more aware of your surroundings. And I, and I kind of, when I, had, uh, when I had him up, I was like, oh man, I can't fall down in the way I usually do. Because I could get in the way, but... I certainly wanted to be a bit more snappier. I know sometimes I hit it and people say, Miller, it doesn't really, you know, have the impact that it needs to. And I agree with that. But I am a work in progress. I've only been working properly for a year. Don't forget this. And a year in wrestling is nothing. I mean, that's like, you know, you couldn't be greener at a year. And the classic thing, there's the champion, Bullet, who uh, decided he wanted to choose his own, his own number one contender. So he hits Arcadius in the head with the belt and Raven gets the win and that's the match that will be going down this Sunday actually if you're around in London in Balham South London at the Bedford you will be getting all of that I will be on the card as well but I'd like to keep you up to date with my resting journey please do subscribe if you haven't already thank you for 100,000 patreon.com forward slash 316 I'll chat to you soon